this tutorial, I am excited to talk to you about Symbaloo. I will discuss what Symbaloo is, how it can be useful in special education, and how to use Symbaloo. Symbaloo is an online technology tool used for bookmarking. It organizes URLs in a visually appealing way using pictures and colors. Before we get started, I would like to draw your attention to the Symbaloo homepage, which is at www.symbaloo.com. And I would like you to see how Symbaloo is using colors, icons, and pictures to organize the URLs. Now that you have a brief glimpse of how Symbaloo visually organizes the URLs, I would like to talk to you about how Symbaloo can benefit students with special needs. My suggestion would be to task analyze the skill of using the computer, incorporating Symbaloo, and turning that task analysis into a visual representation. I have made an example for you of how I would implement that in my classroom and you are free to use this one or to modify it to fit your child or your students specific needs. Okay here is an example of the visual representation of a task analysis for using the computer. I would make this into a booklet by laminating and binding it. This booklet would be kept next to the computer. My students typically earn their computer time. So the cover page says, great job, you earned computer time. The first step of the task analysis is to select a computer. My computers are already turned on and logged into, but you can modify this step to incorporate turning on the computer as a step in your task analysis. The second step is for the student to move the mouse to wake the computer up. I included a picture of the adapted mouse we use. However, I would suggest using a picture that resembles the mouse your child or student uses. The third step is to actually connect with the internet. As you can see, the task analysis includes a picture for the Google Chrome icon. The student would match this picture to the icon on the desktop and click twice. The fourth step is where I am very excited about the possibilities for using Symbaloo. Symbaloo gives you the option of setting it as your home page. So once your student connects with the internet, they are ready to start interacting with the Symbaloo interface. As you can see, I isolated the towel for FunBrain as a direction for the student in the task analysis. You can make this page adaptable by using Velcro and having other options of Symbaloo tiles the students can go to. The last step is for the student to have fun and learn. It is my personal belief that students learn quicker when they are having fun and attending. Technology gives you options for making the curriculum more engaging and I hope that you will visit my blog regularly for technology suggestions useful for special education. The task analysis you just saw is one example of how Symbaloo can serve as an adaptation in special education. It has been my experience that typing in the URL is the greatest difficulty students have with using the computer. Some experience fine motor problems, Others have tracking problems. They experience difficulty seeing the URL on paper and then accurately typing in the letters and symbols they see. Symbaloo bypasses this step, which can cut down on frustration and build their independence. Once you set up your free account, you can immediately start using Symbaloo. Each page in Symbaloo is called a web mix and the web mixes are located across the top of your screen. There are two types of web mixes. There are the kind that are called RSS feeds, 
which is news and blogs. This is an option that you can use with your class for current events. Each one of these is a link to the news sites on the internet and they update automatically. The other types are the ones that use the colors and pictures. To add a new web mix, come over here to the plus sign. It gives you the option of making a new web mix or you can go to the Symbolu gallery and search for a web mix that has already been made and shared by someone else. You can type in topics such as science or English and see what other people have put together and you can incorporate that into your account and that could save you some time for having to recreate something that has already been done. But here, we are going to come in here and name this one School. Okay, you can see that they give you a blank slate to start creating your web mix. I've already taken the time to start a web mix for my class. On this side, you can see these are websites that they would be directed to. I could use these for extension activities or for reinforcement when they have earned their computer time. On this side are social stories. So you can see how I am using colors and pictures to distinguish what the options are with Symbaloo and the students learn that very easily. Adding a new towel is very easy. You would simply click where you want to add a new towel and you can either create a towel or search for a towel. So first, let's create a towel. I am going to create a towel for Google. Okay, so you can see here that it found Google gave Google's name and it gave you an option of an icon that you can use. So you can use an icon or you can use a color. You have the option of including text or not and I'm going to not use the text because it already says Google and it was that easy to add it. So let's try a towel where we don't know the URL. So I am going to search for Google Images because I am on there all the time. And here it found Google Images. So I just select Google Images and it added that to the web mix immediately. I want to show you how quickly once the student clicks on the icon it takes them to the website. So let's try this BBC website. Hello. Where can we go for breakfast? Okay, so you can see it immediately went to the website and the kids are able to start interacting with it and learning. The last thing that I wanted to show you are the options for sharing your web mixes. It gives you the option of putting it in the gallery like we discussed before. So once you make your web mix and you're proud of it, you can show it to other people. And you also have the option of sharing it with email. They will give you a code that you can put in the email and you can send it out to as many people as you want to. I hope that you have found this tutorial useful with understanding how I envision using Symbaloo as a tool in special education. Please let me know how it works out for you or if you have other suggestions that we can share with other special education teachers or parents for using Symbaloo. Thank you.